Good De La Hoya with Wally Matthews. Wally Matthews, Bomb Papa with the fight, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco. And we move on in the welterweight category, a gold medal on the line for Juan Hernandez of Piñar del Rio, 23 years of age. And he'll be going against Michael Caruth of Ireland. Caruth, 25. Keishan Darcy of India is our referee. And once again, Ireland's Wayne McCullough in action today. And right now it is Michael Caruth of Ireland, two fighters from Ireland going for the gold. And he shouldn't have had going in here he doesn't have as big a chance as McCullough did against a Cuban and he's going in against a better Cuban in Juan Hernandez so prospects look bleak but you never know this is Olympic boxing and anything happens here the Irish boxer has been called by one of the Irish commentators a fiddler meaning that if he gets ahead he just fiddles away the rest of the time and is able to box away from him. so right off the bat we see the difference in size it's huge yeah Hernandez of Cuba a lot bigger than Caruth. Caruth listed at 5'5", five, five, and I think that might be a little generous. And Juan Hernandez at 5'10". Well, Juan Hernandez is definitely 5'10". I mean, if not a little bit more, and the other guy is not quite that, unless he's wearing high heels. But uh, in, a, in a boxing ring, what's different is speed and the uh, reach. And reach is all in the favor of the Cuban, and so is speed, as Hernandez is Got those skinny arms that flail away and uh, do damage when they land. Approaching a minute gone by in this first round. Michael Caruth of Ireland in the red. Juan Hernandez of Cuba in the blue. Caruth. Cuba 41 and 3 in the Olympics. They have already captured two gold medals. Caruth has very little chance to stand back and let the taller man uh, fight. He's got to get inside. He's got to rough him up. He's got to get things tough. And he's capable of doing that. Caruth's a rough, tough kid. He's up. Oh, watch out. That punch went behind the head of Hernandez. Caution for Caruth. Hernandez, very happy to stay out here with those long arms, with a long reach, and keep Caruth dancing at the end of his uh, jab. He may not be scoring punches right now, but he will in time as he finds the range. And a caution to both fighters again, and we continue with action here in round number one. Juan Hernandez of Cuba against Michael Caruth of Ireland. And Hernandez with the better of that exchange going to the body. by Caruth. Caruth has very, very little chance unless he gets in there and tries to land something hard, even if it goes. Another good, another good score right hand by Caruth. No question about it. That's his way to, to fight, and he's getting in there. Even if the Cuban is vastly superior in skill and reach and boxing discipline, he stays way outside and lets that those long hands glow. But Caruth is coming inside, and that's what he's got to do. Well, Juan Hernandez of Cuba getting tagged by Michael Caruth. The chance of Ireland go up at the Juventude Pavilion. I don't think that may be registered in the scoring box, but certainly it's registered in the boxing mind of Hernandez as he's got to avoid those bull-like rushes and hard punches of Caruth. And there's the end of round number one. Michael Caruth in front of Juan Hernandez, 4-3. And that is a surprise, folks. That is a surprise. And that's a, a tribute to the tough Doherty performance of Caruth. Let's listen. There's that right hand, Ferdy, that scored. And that's what he's being told. When he goes to the one-two, when Hernandez goes to the one-two, throw your punch. When that one hits, the, the jab before the two comes in, throw it. And we're 
are experiencing something very strange, and that is a Cuban behind after round one. That's very strange indeed. Four to three, the score in the corner of Caruth is his father, Austin, along with Nicholas Hernandez, the former Cuban boxer, now coaching the Irish team. The chant of Ireland from Michael Caruth. Michael the Fiddler Caruth. If he gets ahead, he can fiddle away those points. So say the Irish commentators who've seen him fight a lot. They're pretty high on him, not as high as they were on McCullough, but here he's doing better than McCullough against an even better fighter, Juan Hernandez. Well, Caruth with that dramatic win on Monday over Andreas Otto of Germany. The fight ended in a tie, but Caruth won on advantage points. Well, it may well be that his his hook is so wide and it's so evident when it lands that the judges are all seeing him or all agreeing that the punch lands when it does because it's so wide. See, it's from so far out. You can see it when it comes in. And a he right just got hand it. by Caruth. And Ferdy, you know, we have seen from the Irish fighters, a lot of other fighters, once they get into the ring against the Cuban team, fold an El Foldo, but Michael Caruth and his Irish teammates not intimidated despite that shot there by Hernandez. Well it's as if they don't read the papers they don't know that the, these guys are this good because they don't listen to anything they walk in here like if they'd never seen or heard of the guy and that's the way you got to do with a Cuban team or else they will out publicity you to death. And oh. a warning to Caruth no. for holding and that is three points for Juan Hernandez of Cuba. Oh no. Referee Narcy of India with a holding warning to Caruth. Oh, in the second round. That is awful in a gold medal round. Awful. This is just, you know, it's unconscionable to reward three points for that. Unconscionable. It should be one point in, in, in matches that are so close. Three points is a, it's an overlap. I mean, it's huge. Three points if a fighter is warned goes to his opponent. We've seen in the Olympic Games the judges have always agreed with the warning infraction. Well the other thing is they don't have to award the three points. Oh two of Henry right shots. hand by Karuk scores. They don't have to award it but we have seen the statistics show in the games they always award the point. I was going to say they don't have to but they haven't used the other option. <laughs> right. here. Oh that's an embarrassment. That's an embarrassment. Well, Karuth standing right in with Hernandez. Karuth doing such a good job of staying up with Hernandez. I'm not saying he could win without those three points, but boy, he's doing a heck of a job against a very, very good, talented Cuban fighter. Well prepared, conditioned. Gosh, what a shame to have that affect the outcome of this match. Well, we still have 15 seconds to go in the second round and a third round to decide it. But the last thing you want to do is give a Cuban fighter three additional points. Yep. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. The favorites get three points when they don't need it and the underdog wave down. Well let's see what the scoring is at the end of this time. Remember Caruth was up four three after one and eight eight the score. Gosh that makes you even matter. That would have been eight five eight eight. Now you know you don't root for anybody but boy if you're doing if you're doing that kind of scoring there's a little nick on the on the eye of the Cuban fighter if you're winning the fight in the ring eight to five by gosh that's what you should get I mean come on adding three points to this well at least at least he's not behind and he can build on that he can say okay we're even forget what just happened and let's go to it all right there was Caruth holding on and locking up the arm of Hernandez and that's when referee Narcy stepped in and gave Three points to Hernandez because that was His third. the third caution, which means a warning. I'm not arguing with that as much as I am the three points. <laughs> you know, okay, that's the rule. You got to enforce it. Okay, for the referee, but three points come on. We start round number three. This fight is tied at eight. Ireland has never won a gold medal in Olympic competition. Well, they're perilously close here. If the fiddler can keep it up. And fiddle to his tune and not be interfered with with a referee. I wonder if referee Narcy might be quick to give a warning to 
Hernandez. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I mean, with this fight in the balance, I mean, it's his call. He's the one that's going to cost the gold to Ireland. And right now, a pushing and kind of leading with your head caution given to Hernandez. I wonder how many that is. Well, some referees do hold up their hand and tell Another you, and Caruth shot. fighting back against Hernandez. Another good shot by Caruth. See, that, that hook is so wide. That's what's scoring the points. It's wide and it lands. How many more? Both fighters cautioned again. Now, that, that's a number of times he cautioned him against coming in too soon before, after the break. I wonder if that's not a caution. This is round number three. The heavily favored Juan Hernandez of Cuba and Michael Carruth of Ireland and, tied at eight. And the heavily favored uh, is uh, Hernandez is fighting like he's behind. He's fighting a little more pressure, a little bit more desperate than he was before. He's definitely feeling the pressure from the fiddler Carruth. And the referee Narcy is just ruining any flow to this gold medal fight. Another gonging right hand now. He was just starting up again. Oh, he got Hernandez it. hit on the break. And how many more warning, how many more cautions will he receive? Why that's two that I know of in the last 30 seconds. I mean he never got warned before. I just hate the system where the, where the referee has to keep track in his head in such an exciting fight as this. We approach Another the one. midway point of this third and final round. Referee Narcy handing out caution after caution. But in round two, it was Caruth who received the warning and three points for Hernandez. That hammering right hook as he comes in, which are the instructions of Hernandez. As soon as this guy starts to want to throw your hook, and it's been working. See that hook right there? It's been working. Missed by a mile there, but it's been working. And it certainly is discombobulating the Cubans attack as Hernandez really doesn't know what to make of this awkward brawling man. Now he's holding again and I hope they don't. I don't know. No swinging. Means. I know swing and sway is what I think A that minute means. to go in the fight. Can swing Michael Caruth pull off the big upset against Juan Hernandez? Caruth right. fighting like a man inspired. He's fighting like a banshee. He's coming on. He's coming on. But Hernandez has got a little desperation to him now. He's not he's not ordered. He's not disciplined now. He's getting falling apart a little bit. Now that's holding again. He could do it. Well, referee Narcy has already off. given three points to Hernandez for a Carew hold. And he's just I mean well you can see it. Well the, the referee is interfering with a wonderful bout here. That's not right for either fighter. Come on, let him fight, ref. Let him fight, ref. A gold medal on the line. Michael Caruth and Juan Hernandez. Only 22 seconds to go in the fight. I'm it not sure that he didn't win it anyway. Caruth, he certainly landed the stronger blows. If he didn't, there will be a huge lot of boo booze from the Irish contingent. Oh, and another right guy shot. Caruth scored. That could be a point that won this fight for him. Remember, it was tied at eight after two. Hernandez was trying a left hand. And that's holding again, and the referee looks. Oh, another good gun. He shot by Caruth. And has Ireland won their first ever boxing gold? Well, it certainly is going to be a disappointment if not, because he looked like he came and overwhelmed Hernandez. Hernandez not fighting his fight, not looking good. Even a referee that's interfering too much with the flow has. Uh, not affect, could not affect the scoring. I hope I hope this is fair scoring here and we don't get another outrage. Former Cuban boxer Nicholas Hernandez in the Irish corner. And there is Juan Hernandez. Hernandez received three points in round two for a warning against Caruth. That could be the difference. Michael Caruth from Dublin as he delivered the first goal for Ireland in boxing in their country's history. We won't know for a moment, but even if he did, he covered himself with glory. Let's let us say that we think he did, but even if he didn't, he did wonderfully well. The crowd Here will tell you in just a second.
of history. And it didn't take the luck of the Irish, but the will of the Irish. Michael Carruth of Dublin, Ireland with the big upset as he defeats Juan Hernandez and brings Ireland their first ever gold medal in boxing, 13 to 10 the final. 30? Well, the Irish commentator said he was the fiddler and he fiddled his tune. He fiddled the tune of aggression, triggering a right hand just as the Cuban was starting his one-two point, executing perfectly what his corner was telling him, told, by the way, by a Cuban Hernandez, who was a brilliant ring corner man today. He gave him the right information. He executed it in spite of a question of a book call, in spite of a referee interfering with it. He still won the fight cleanly. In my book, that was a good measure of three points difference. That three points that was taken away from him would have made it 16 to 10. And every county in Ireland comes together on this day in celebration of the first gold medal for Ireland in boxing, Michael Carruth, the man who delivers in the welterweight category. Oh, look at the joy up there. <laughs> Victory for Michael Carruth at the Juventud Pavilion in... as he upsets Juan Hernandez of Cuba. And talking about uh, someone who has experienced Olympic greatness, Pernell Sweet Pea Whitaker joins us. Bob Papa along with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. And Sweet Pea, that was uh, quite a display there by Michael Carruth of Ireland. No, you know, the thing is, how often do you see the underdog come in and upset the favorite? And the favorite Irish guy who's been fighting so well couldn't do anything with his Cuban. And yet the other guy is just about, I mean, just energy. That's all he had. He that's wasn't as good as great. You know, he's I watched his progress, his, his progress, and he's... You he's work so with him. Good. You that's work right. with him. That's all right. Well, he was so good, but he wasn't attractive that's to make right. money. He this was kid, too good. This kid is uh, very attractive. I think this kid's good. He can sell some tickets. All right. Thank you. And Thank now you. let the medal celebration begin in Dublin. Belfast and across Ireland, Michael Carruth brings Ireland home their first ever Olympic boxing gold. medalles seran lliurades pel senyor Roque Muñoz Peña, membre del Comitè Olímpic Internacional, acompanyat del senyor Jetsef, vicepresident de l'Associació Internacional de Boxe Amateur, i el senyor Jones, membre del Comitè Executiu de l'Associació Internacional de Boxe Amateur. Les médailles seront remises par monsieur Roque Muñoz Peña, membre du Comitè Internacional Olímpic, accompagné de M. Jetchev, vice-président de l'Association internationale de boxe amateur, et de M. Jones, membre du comité exécutif de l'Association internationale de boxe amateur.
The medals will be presented by Mr. Roque Munoz Peña, member of the International Olympic Committee, accompanied by Mr. Jed Chief, Vice President of the International Amateur Boxing Association, and Mr. Jones, member of the Executive Board of the International Amateur Boxing Association. Las medallas serán entregadas por el señor Roque Muñoz Peña, miembro del Comité Olímpico Internacional, acompañado del señor Heche, vicepresidente de la Asociación Internacional de Boxeo Amateur, y el señor Jones, miembro del Comité Ejecutivo de la Asociación Internacional del Boxeo Amateur. Campeón olímpico y medalla de oro, representan Irlanda. Campeón olímpico y medalla de oro, representan Irlanda. Olympic champion and gold medalist representing Ireland. Campeón olímpico y medalla de oro representando a Irlanda, Michael Carro. Medalla de plata, representant Cuba. Deuxième et médaille d'argent représentant Cuba. Second and silver medalist representing Cuba. Segundo y medalla de plata representando a Cuba, Juan Hernández Sierra. Tercers i medalla de bronze, representant Tailàndia i Puerto Rico. Troisième i medalla de bronze, representant la Tailàndia i Puerto Rico. Third and bronze medalist, representing Thailand and Puerto Rico. Terceros i medalla de bronze, representant a Tailàndia i Puerto Rico, Arkom Chenglai i Aníbal Santiago Acevedo. We shall now listen to the Irish national anthem. A continuación escucharemos el himno nacional de Irlanda.
Well, I've only been I think. Ferdy, the Irish eye smiling on Michael Carruth. And he sure has a map of Ireland on his face. It looks like the son of Pat O'Brien, the great actor. He is a, what you call a tough Irish kid. And that is how the welterweight.